Welcome to Joe Fixes It, where we specialize in working on Mark II Volkswagen diesels and also anything else around the shop. Today, we're going to be working on my 1989 Jetta turbo diesel. We're going to change the rear springs and the rear shocks. Before we can get the shocks off, we're going to have to pull the wheels off, jack the car real high up in the air, clean all the junk out of the trunk so I can get in and get the top mounting bolts off so we can get the shocks and the springs out and replace them. Remove the wheels. Next, we're going to remove the shocks from the car. As a note, once you've picked the car up in the air, you do not want to support any part of that car with the rear axles. The second point that you need to know is don't pull off more than one shock at a time because the weight of the axles will be hanging off the brake lines and probably break them. First thing we're gonna do is take the nuts off the top of the shocks. Those are really hard to get to. Volkswagen makes a special tool for that, but unfortunately, I don't have one. Let's get that done and then we'll pull the bottom shock bolts out and remove the shock and then replace the springs and the shock absorbers. And there's another thing we need to do before we take the top nuts off is you want to put a vice grip on the shaft of the hydraulic shaft on the shock absorber so it won't turn because some of us don't have the right tool. Unfortunately for me, I have to, you have to climb up inside the trunk in order to get to these terrible things. Okay, well first you have to take these rubber caps off the top. You think Volkswagen would be a little kinder to us, don't you? Not a chance. Then doing good. And then there's a nut right on the top of here we have to get off. This would be why nobody replaces the shocks in the back of these things. There we go. Good Lord. They didn't mean for you to get them out easy, did they now? Hey boy, if we had rough threads, we would be in a ringer. Now that we have the top ones off, let's move on to the lower bolts. I'm doing this. Now we take it over to the bench, do what we gotta do to it. The next order of business is to take off the hardware that we're gonna use over. I'm gonna have to put a spring compressor on these springs, take the load off of it, and we're gonna use the cap and the bottom over. There we go. Why do we gotta make everything a drawer? Off, and your spacer out. Don't want to lose these things, God help you. Get these dust covers out. See that dust cover's all broken to pieces. Take our old spring off. This piece here needs to come off too. Cool. We'll reuse this and put this on the new shock absorber. Now it's time to start assembly. There's really not a lot of this I'm gonna use over. I'm gonna use this rubber mounting thing, mainly because I don't have another one. This we're gonna replace. This is all broken up. Here are their replacements. They're kinda of like an absorber if you bottom your uh, shocks out. We put our shock absorber back up in the vise. Put this plate back on it. Make sure it's seated good. We find this little washer and put it on. We got this stuck together. This is called a buffer. This is a spacer. There we go. The trick is, is gonna get it back in the car with me being unscathed. And we're gonna have to put it back up into the housing, out through the mountain towers, put the bottom bolt in, and put the top nuts on, which is a minor acrobatic circus. I can put it off, but it's still not gonna be any less pleasant. There. If the top was only that easy. Uh. 
ran into a little hitch with the shock absorbers. The one I got, the threads are different. These are supposed to be OEM shock absorbers and are supposed to be thus original equipment. So everything should match in here. The threads should be all the same. There really shouldn't be any difference. However, this little nut here that holds it on, the one on the new one is a 10 millimeter by 1.00 threads, which is much finer pitch than what came on it, which is a 1.00. 25 pitch. I didn't have any of those nuts laying around here even though I have a lot of stuff here at this place. So luckily I went down to the local chicken supply place and picked up four of them. So let's get started with this and finally get this job done. Done with side one. Well, okay, I got side one in. Side two is gonna be the same thing on the left-hand side. Leave your heart out by the door. Here in the dark, nobody wants your love. They crave the rhythm of the night. Under these lights, whatever's wrong feels right We go all night, all night We can go all day if you dare, dare, dare Under the moonlight, moonlight Looking like stars in the sky We're done for today. I got the uh, shocks and the springs changed out in the back of my Jetta. Hopefully it'll ride a little bit higher and a little bit uh, less bouncy anyway. I just want to remind you that this is a multi-part video in this series. This is episode one. Episode two will be focused more on the front end of the car as I replace the suspension pretty much in entirety on my 1989 Jetta Diesel. So stay tuned for episode two. If you enjoyed this content, if you found it useful, subscribe. The link's below. We will see you in the next video. Leave your heart out by the door. Here in the dark, nobody wants your love. They crave the rhythm of the night. Under these lights, whatever's wrong feels right. We go all night, all night. We can go all day if you dare, dare, dare. Clear has got to be in a better motherfucking way. Under the moonlight, moonlight, looking like stars in the sky.